Hello, and this is an Arduino based pin code lock. And today I'll be showing you how it works. This is how it works in action. The project consists of an Arduino Nano, a breadboard, some wires, a buzzer, and a 4x4 button keypad. And this is how it works algorithmically. The program will always be in one of six different states, from state 0 all the way to state 5. When a program cycles through all the states, I call that a cycle. The first state, state 0's job, is to clear out the variables from the last cycle so they don't interfere with the new one that's about to start. After it clears the variables, it jumps to state 1. State 1's job is to record the first button that you pressed and store that value in a variable. The next two states do the same thing, but record different buttons. State 4's job is to do the same thing as the three states above it, but it also has to check if the pin code that you entered is valid by comparing the values of the buttons you pressed to the correct code. If the pin you entered is valid, program jumps to state 5. However, if the pin code is not correct, then the state jumps back to state 0. And the cycle repeats. Whew. Now I'm going to show you how the wiring is set up. The 8 pins on the button matrix connect from digital pin 2 to digital pin 9 on the Arduino Nano. The signal pin on the buzzer connects to digital pin 10. The ground pin connects to ground, and the power pin connects to 5 volts. Now you might have noticed that my pin code machine here does absolutely nothing so far. In the second episode, I'll be making it do something. So stay tuned, and as always, thanks for watching.